What's going on everybody? Thank you for checking out the channel. In today's video, we're looking at new details and leaks for Battlefield 6. There's new rumors and information that have been circulating this week regarding Battlefield 6. Some of it actually has come from the earnings call. The EA CEO actually was making some statements about the game, but others are circulating with some publications online. So this video is going to be a summary of Battlefield 6 with everything that we know and how it might actually take on and might take the throne from Warzone. So as of the time of this video, EA has not formally introduced or announced any sort of release date specifically for Battlefield 6, but the CEO on their earnings call on February 2nd did say that there will be a Battlefield experience coming in holiday of 2021. It was also leaked this earlier this week that Criterion Games, who are working on the Need for, Fe Need for Speed franchises, have also pulled off of the development of those games to focus and support DICE on Battlefield 6. So regarding the timeline of Battlefield 6, it looks like it's actually going to be a World War 3 type of setting, which would be not futuristic, but set in the future, and something that would be counter to what Activision is rolling out with Warzone, supposedly for uh, Sledgehammer's next version of Call of Duty this fall. And if you're not aware, uh, the rumors online are showing that Call of Duty for 2021, for holiday, that the next release is going to go back to a World War 2 type of era of a game. So EA's CEO, Andrew Wilson, in the recent earnings call also said that Battlefield 6 will bring massive immersive battles to life with more players than ever before. And this has been matched with other information online showing that the maps could support up to 128 players in them. And in a statement with GameStop last year, EA also confirmed that Battlefield 6 was going to be targeting the next gen platforms. EA had also made comments that bringing out Battlefield in 2020 where a new console base is fairly small didn't really give justice to the potential of the title, which really meant that they didn't want to push out a title when they knew that the units that were going to be available in the marketplace was actually going to be low. And so they decided to hold it one year. They also probably knew that Warzone was going to be hard to catch up to. So they decided to hold a year and then do a, a, a huge push the next year. Additional comments in the earning calls were this. We're looking forward to sharing a lot more about our fiscal year 22 plans in the months ahead, including our next Battlefield experience, which will mark a return to all-out military warfare. The game takes full advantage of the power of next-generation platforms to bring massive immersive battles to life with more players than ever before. Featuring maps with unprecedented scale, the next edition of Battlefield takes all the destruction, player agency, vehicle and weapon combat that franchise is known for, and elevate it to another level. The team is focused and the game is ahead of our internal milestones. We will reveal the game in the spring and deliver a defined battlefield experience for our players in the 2021 holiday season. I don't know about you, but Infinity Ward and the modern warfare experience has come into Warzone that we all grew up and loved uh, all last year. That was a guaranteed tried and true experience that everybody enjoyed. And I think that with Battlefield 6, if DICE takes it into the same current setting, keeps it futuristic and doesn't go back to a World War II genre, I think that's actually going to pick up what's called the install base of the players. So everybody that has enjoyed Warzone over the past year or so are going to be looking for that modern type of gunfight experience. And I think that they'll jump ship over to Battlefield 6, at least for a small amount of time. So if we rewind the clock a little bit and take a page out of EA's book, Electronic Arts actually released Apex Legends into the Battle Royale arena and into the space a couple of years ago, uh, right after the popularity of Fortnite. The thing that took everybody's by surprise was that Apex was dropped out of nowhere. Nobody knew that anything was coming, no information was shared about the game, and it was EA's decision to just drop it on the market. At the time, a ton of players jumped ship from Fortnite and they started playing Apex which was really fun out of the gate. Unfortunately, EA kind of stumbled with some of the updates and there was a lot of bugs and everything that were also associated with the game and they weren't patching it as quickly. So that rise and that fall happened really, really quickly with Apex Legends. But one thing's for certain is that EA is going to use that strategy again for Battlefield, which is their uh, larger competitive, you know, first person shooter experience that's comparable to Call of Duty and in many ways has had different types of experiences that have been enjoyable in the past. Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 were real big deals in the first person shooter genre and multiplayer and DICE, the developer for it on the back end, uh, working under EA as the publisher, uh, DICE has always been really, really good with their Frostbite engine and really 
being able to play with sizing. So their maps have always been super, super big. But the kind of takeaway a couple of years ago, if we look at Battle Thru Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, was that that scale of maps, the gameplay was always a little bit slower because you had to move from one location to the next. So DICE has been making some commentary around the next version of Battlefield, Battlefield 6, and how it's going to be Battle Royale specific. So there you have it. That's all we know for Battlefield 6 right now. I think it's safe to say that there's definitely going to be a Battlefield 6 title that releases this holiday. And I'm also safe to say, without them actually confirming with their own voice, that there will be a Battle Royale experience tied to that. And I can confidently feel that that will deliver a true experience that we're looking for and something that would be different from Warzone. You know, Activision is really good at having that arcade experience that's fast, kind of ridiculous gameplay in close quarters. But EA and Battlefield have always been very good at larger scale maps and utilizing vehicles and destructible environments. So that would just it would just bring, you know, a totally different type of experience to Battle Royale, where right now it feels a little bit stale. But you let me know what you think of what's coming in the comments below. If you happen to like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below what you think about Battlefield 6. Did you play Battle 3, Battlefield 3, 4, or 5 previously? Uh, comment below what your experiences have been. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. I love to have you on board. And then you can get notifications when I upload new videos just like this one. So I hope you have a good one and I'll see you in the next video.